interest in music in the mind is as, in, is as ancient as philosophy itself. Plato was uh, marveled at the power of music over human character and human emotions. In fact, he was quite concerned about the way music could either degrade or elevate the minds of young people. So you can see in some sense, nothing has changed. <laughs> he said, rhythm and harmony find their way into the inward places of the soul. Well, yes, that's true. And he said this in 400 BC. But what has changed since then is that just in the last few years, brain science has started to seriously investigate music. And this young science is confirming music's power over us. For example, some colleagues in Montreal decided to do a study to investigate what happens in the brain when people get chills to music. This is intense emotional responses that often manifest themselves as shivers, tingling of the spine. Has anybody here had this? Okay, it's not uncommon. And uh, they specifically looked at chills to instrumental music. So this wasn't due to any associations that people had with <coughs> lyrics. It was just sounds of music. And they, looked at, uh, they took advantage of the fact that people often know quite well okay. what music okay. gives them chills. Okay. They know the piece, sometimes the very passage in the piece. And so they had people bring in their own self-selected CDs, and they scanned their brains while they were having these experiences listening to music.